Bishop Charlie Wynn, and I'm here today for the weekly encouragement and ministry moment. But what I come to you today with is with the question, are you a faith builder or are you a faith breaker? Let me tell you a story about something. I heard about a monk who joined a monastery and took a vow of silence, with the exception of being allowed to speak two words every year. And after the first year passed, he was called into the abbot's office to speak his two words. The monk said, bed's hard. Another year passed, and again, he went to speak his two words before the abbot. The monk said, food's cold. Another year went by, and he appeared once again before the abbot. You're allowed your two words, the abbot told him. What are they? The monk said, I quit. See, it's no wonder, the abbot explained. Since you've been here, all you've done is complained. It's true for some people. All they want to do is complain. My friend James Merritt says that there are two kinds of people in this world, those who are born again and those who are born against. Some people are simply contrary. Nothing pleases them. Nothing meets their standards. They actually like to go and make trouble in the lives of others. As Proverbs 4, 6, 16 says, evil people are restless unless they're making trouble. They can't even get a good night's sleep unless they have made life miserable for someone else. Zig Ziglar once said that, don't be distracted by criticism. Remember, the only taste of success some people have is what they take a bite out of you. The Old Testament tells a story of Nehemiah, one who was called by God to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Two names, however, keep popping up in that narrative, Samballat and Tobiah. They were the initial opponents of Nehemiah and God's people, and they went from minor irritation to full-blown rage. Nehemiah was the king's cupbearer, which put him in close proximity to the king. He not only was in a place of influence, but he also was in a place of affluence. He had a significant role and was living in the lap of luxury, literally. Nehemiah was Jewish, and the Jews had been allowed to return from Babylon to their homeland, and many had. They rebuilt the temple, but the word came to Nehemiah that the walls of the city were lying in rubble, and it was an embarrassment, and Nehemiah was led by God to go and rebuild the walls. Leaders, if you're going to build, however, you're going to have to battle. If we're doing God's work, then we will be roundly criticized. I have come to look at it as a form of confirmation that I'm on the right track. Criticism can be demoralizing. It can be painful. Nehemiah had just started building the wall when the mocking began. Guess what? Sam Ballot pops up. Listen to what he says in Nehemiah 4.2. What does this bunch of poor, feeble Jews think they're doing? Do they think they can build the wall in a single day by just offering a few sacrifices? Do they actually think they can make something out of stones from a rubbish heap and charred ones at that? And there was more than a hint of anti-Semitism in that statement, but Nehemiah pressed on and did what God called him to do. It isn't fun being ridiculed. It isn't enjoyable being laughed at. For example, look at the way Hollywood loves to portray Christians as fools and buffoons. See, according to Hollywood, we're everything that is wrong with this world. But according to Jesus, we're the only thing that is right. Join me on the next ministry moment as we talk about are you a faith builder or a faith breaker and hear the rest of this lesson. God bless you. Thanks so much for watching TMCI TV. If you found any benefit in this episode, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and ring the notification bell so you can stay up to date with our future videos. If you are interested in planning a church, starting a ministry, or looking for 501c3 tax exemption status for your existing church or ministry, TMCI can help. Click the link in the description below for more information. We look forward to hearing from you soon. God bless.